all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your general love reading so we're going to find out what's going on with you and the person on your mind okay if you guys want to book something personal as always my information is down below in the description box okay so let's take a look oh the other thing i wanted to say is so when you go onto the website, um, there's a few small changes, nothing really major, just the title, so it might confuse some of you guys who uh, are regular um, clients. But so when you go on there, how there's the, there's like the emergency readings, the extended readings, what they say now is love reading. I used to have it broken down into like different types of connections, but now it's just a love reading. So it could be if, if it's a twin flame, um, a soulmate or a karmic, it doesn't matter um, because it's just picking up on the energy of two people anyway. So just when you go onto the website, just the name of the actual reading has shifted, but they're still the same, same reading. Okay, so let's take a look and see what is going on with you and the person on your mind. What is going on with you and your person? Let's see. What's connecting the two of you? I'm going to I'm going to face the cards towards you guys so it's easier for you. Okay. So, but the way it falls out is how I'm going to read it. Okay. So, Queen of Cups in reverse is the connecting energy between the two of you. Okay. So, I see that there are emotions here, um, but it does seem like someone is holding back, okay? Not expressing those emotions or the, these emotions are being withheld. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or your person could be, okay? So it seems like um, emotions are being withheld between you and this person. So maybe you guys haven't opened up to each other. So what is their current energy towards you? What is their current energy towards my viewer? Okay, they're, yeah, they're being secretive. High Priestess in reverse. Maybe they're not telling you how they feel. Why is the High Priestess here? High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? The Queen of Pentacles is coming out here. Some of them, may, they may have someone else. They may be keeping a secret that they have someone else here. Maybe they're already married or already committed to someone and they're keeping this a secret. Uh, we also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's your energy towards this person? What's your energy towards this person? Okay, we have the hanged man. So you guys are just kind of seeing how things play out. It does seem like there's probably a pause to this connection um, or there's not a lot happening at this point. Okay, not going anywhere. You guys aren't doing anything about it is what I'm seeing. And I think that the the connecting energy, like I said, is that emotions are being withheld. Okay, they are being secretive because they could have they could have someone else that they're committed to or connected to at least in some way. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. What is the challenge here? What is the challenge between these two? What is the challenge? Yeah, okay. Three of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, I do think that is the challenge. I think that the person that you're dealing with is it has someone else. Um, whether you know about it or not, I think they're coming through as secretive. And the reason why is because they are with someone. So um, I don't know if this is someone that they're married to. Or this could be someone that they just are like committed to maybe this is someone they're living with but I feel like they're being secretive with you specifically because they're tied to someone else so I don't know if they don't want you to know or you do know and that's why they're just kind of being secretive like they don't want to reveal how they're actually feeling because they're already um, involved but it does seem like the challenge is that there is a third party situation here okay so let's see what does this person want with you what does this person want with you okay what does this person want with my viewers we have the nine of pentacles so they are coming through as quite independent i do feel like they are wanting to focus on themselves right now so this person that you are thinking about that you're not taking action towards 
they are coming through as wanting to just be independent, wanting to focus on themselves. Some of them may be very career oriented as well because we have Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles in their energy. Um, what are you wanting with this person? What is it that you're wanting with this person? Okay, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, so it's interesting because you, what you're... Your like energy towards them is the hanged man, which is a card of inaction. And same with the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is for some reason you guys aren't want why aren't you not wanting to okay. It's telling me that you don't want to talk, which is interesting because I don't know why you'd be doing a tarot reading. Let's see, why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Why are you not wanting to talk? Oh, because you feel like you can't? Eight of Swords? Your energy feels very restricted right now. So those who are watching, I mean, rules could be reversed, but for those who are watching, tuning into this reading, how you're coming through is there's a, there's a strong energy of like, I can't take action. I shouldn't take action. Um, so you may, maybe you're aware that they are involved with someone else. So you know, like, okay, I probably shouldn't reach out to them. I shouldn't say anything. Um, I'm getting a sense that right now you guys are feeling like very stuck. Okay. I think you you are stuck on this person a bit here, but you're not doing anything about it. Okay, and what they're wanting right now is to be independent right now. So I do think this person is very self-focused. It's not to say that they don't have feelings. We'll take a look and see what their actual feelings are for you. But in terms of what they're wanting right now is to be independent or to just focus on themselves. Some of them, like I said, are very career oriented. Okay, so let's see, how are they feeling? So this person that you're dealing with, what are their feelings for you? What are their feelings for you? They can't seem to walk away from you. Eight of cups in reverse. So there is something that's holding them on to this connection. Like they, they can't seem to like fully let you go or they can't seem to completely move on from you is how they're feeling. Eight of cups reverse. I can't let go. I can't move on. Why is the eight of cups reverse? But they see the king of swords in reverse. They're very, in, how they feel, they're very indecisive about you because there's something about this connection where, like, I see that they want to focus on themselves, but then they're also feeling like, well, why can't I move on from this person? Why can't I fully walk away from this? But I see, like, how they feel, they're very indecisive. Very indecisive, okay? Um, how are you feeling? How are you feeling about this person? The Knight of Pentacles. So you do want to move this forward, but I feel like some of you are, like again, moving very slowly. Um, you do want to move this situation forward, but I feel like you also kind of want to rebuild trust or you're just treading carefully. Knight of Pentacles is kind of this cautious energy is what I'm seeing. Okay. So it's really interesting because like I'm just getting a sense that this person, they can't move on from you, but they also can't make a decision they may be very self i just think that this person's very self-focused okay um let's see tell me more about this connection uh this person could also be a gemini libra aquarius or cancer pisces scorpio or sorry taurus virgo capricorn and cancer pisces scorpio i said actually we have all signs except for fire out right now okay we have the seventh chakra Okay, which is the crown chakra. Let's grab one more. Tell me about this connection. Tell me about this connection, spirit. Okay, tell me about this connection. Thank you. And we do have the door to romance. Okay, so I feel like there are romantic feelings here, but I get the sense that this is something that you're both intuitively feeling, okay? Because I see that with the Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel like what's happening right now is that emotions, maybe you haven't told this person how you feel or maybe they haven't. Like someone here is withholding their feelings is what I'm getting. But I do see that there are romantic feelings here. We have the door to romance kind of telling me about the connection. So there, there is some sort of romantic vibe going on with this person, but I feel like this could just be more intuitive right now. So maybe both of you are kind of sensing like, okay, yeah, I think there's something there. 
but I feel like the challenge is like if they're if this person's already involved that could be what the challenge is three of pentacles um or there's kind of like a lack of effort on on someone's side here okay so let's see what's the likely outcome in the next few weeks what's the likely outcome I'm seeing distance three of wands is the outcome can you guys and maybe you can't see that I'll move it up a little bit. Okay, outcome three of wands. Clarify. See, I'm getting the same energy, okay? It's like, it is. this is more kind of what I was picking up from your person. They can't walk away from you, but they also can't make a decision and they also just wanna focus on themselves. Like what? And that's what I'm getting for the future. The three of wands, this person's keeping their distance or you're keeping their dis your distance. I think it's the same. I think it goes both ways. But you guys both can't let go of each other. Death in reverse. Can't let go, can't move on, but also not doing anything about it. That's the vibe that I'm seeing here. Or like feeling, like three of wands, there's distance. Um, but you have, it's, it, it's like, it's one thing to be at a distance and decide, okay, I'm gonna move on, right? But this is sort of like, okay, we're at a distance, so we can't move on. So what is going on? Um, let me get to clarify why what's going on with this why can't these two move on from each other oh oh weird okay we have envy maybe you guys are afraid to move on because you're kind of like well i don't want them to be with someone else jealousy is the reason envy why you guys can't move on from each other so it could be this energy of not wanting to fully move on because you don't want that person to be with someone else or you're jealous of like well What if they end up with someone else if I completely walk away? Okay, because envy is at play here as to why that's the case This is a really interesting read guys um, Okay, what's the advice for my viewers who are dealing with this person? What is the advice for those who are resonating with this storyline? It almost feels like you guys are dealing with a dead end, okay, like, with this person. Yeah, I feel like you're being called to, the advice is the Nine of Cups, you guys are being called to focus on your own happiness right now, okay? Be happy on your own, is what I'm hearing. Um, you may realize that once you're happy on your own, that maybe you don't feel the same way about this person anymore, because I just get that this, first of all, I, okay, what I'm actually kind of seeing here is a lot of red flags, because I feel like... They're, they're secretive, they're probably involved with someone else, they want to focus on themselves, they're indecisive, but they can't let you go. And they might even be jealous. So it's like, I'm getting a lot of, kind of, a lot of red flags on this side. For you, I see that you guys are kind of stuck on this person here. Um, and what Spirit is suggesting is to focus on your own happiness. I kind of get the sense that when you become happy, you may realize that this situation is a bit of a dead end or the situation um, doesn't really serve your highest good. Okay, um, but if you are intuitively picking up that this person does have romantic feelings or did, I feel like you're right about that. I do think it's more of an intuitive thing because I feel like what's happening is that emotions aren't being expressed between the two of you. They're being withheld here. Okay, but that is what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. Um, if, Like I said, if you want to book a personal reading, my information is down below. There's been a few small changes on the website, but I'm sure you guys who have always been on there will have no problem navigating that and figuring that out. Um, in addition, I do have an online course in guided meditations. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.